Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's your boy, Drongo Cares of the Black Bulls Night Squad at Twitch.tv or Raven Sun at TikTok. And I'm playing on the right here with Gamma on Triforce and uh, against KO here on the left with um, Hybrid Deck. Uh, he's playing, uh, it's like Tamers and Hybrids with free play Tamers. It's like a really cool deck. And it was super, super fun to play against this deck because it was really different it didn't feel like true control which you know is slow and paced it felt like aggro it was like constantly just hammering away at my life total and i wasn't able to keep up it was pretty cool um i did end up uh, losing this he walked away with a 2-1 over me but uh all in all i had a great time playing this match it was super fun super interactive um lots of firepower lots of speed it was really really cool uh we had a good time playing this one uh but ultimately um we're going to talk a little bit about um, where, uh, like what we're doing. We, we did the three videos this week uh, to kind of slam out some extra footage because I'm getting ready to build my Ragnalord Mon deck and I'm going to be putting the Gamma Mon on the back nine while I do research for BT10 to get uh, Gamma Mon back up to par. Uh, and so, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be on the back nine while I play Ragnalord Mon for a while. So get ready to see lots and lots of that footage, and uh, yeah. All right, so he's sitting here on the Jet Selfie Mon, and this is where he's pretty much just going to uh, just go off and crush me because I, I try to drop the Cordramon, then I go into the Kals Gamma Mon, and then I drop another Cordramon, and from this point forward, he, he's just going to take the game away, uh, be, sadly, because I was incapable of keeping um, uh, consistency going, and I was dead drawing a lot. So in the end, I just couldn't, I couldn't make anything work. And I just had to hard cast big guys and it gave him too much memory and he was able to just kind of come back from that and win. Um, so ultimately, uh, it was a uh, seriously, I should, probably should have table shuffled. Uh, at that point, I may, like, it didn't matter that he hit a crimson, uh, everything 7k and up. So it didn't do anything. And I'm kind of just like straggling along at this point and he's just going to utterly crush me to be fair with you. So he's got the Rise Gray Mon there, he's got a Pit Mon, and he's got a Jet Selfie Mon, and I'm trying to like keep everything off the field as much as I can, dropping Gaia Forces and everything, but it doesn't matter, he's just got so many Tamers, he's gaining so much memory every turn, and it's just it's just overwhelming. Uh, that's why I said it was a really fun deck to play against, and that's game one. Here in game two... Uh, I managed to make a big comeback out of it and uh, managed to beat him pretty quick. Um, it was a little bit of a struggle at first, but then the deck just kind of took off and I was able to just utterly crush through uh, his entire security. Uh, so we already got a Beetle Gamma Mon up on field and ready to go. And it's just doing absolutely insane. Um, ultimately, uh, he does a good job at slowing me down at first. But eventually the deck just kind of took off and did exactly what it was supposed to, uh, which was, you know, break multiple security per turn and just keep slamming into my opponent without letting up. And, uh, yep, yeah, it did a good job today. I was very, very happy with my deck. I've, I've, I have yet to not feel happy with uh, Gamma Mon. Um, it has been such a fun experience. It's going to be sad when I put it on, on the uh, shelf for a little bit while I research and uh, change it up because I love playing this deck. But I really want to play Ragnar Lord Mon. I feel like Ragnar Lord Mon is going to be my deck for this new coming meta. Uh, I think it's going to be incredibly fun and very easy to play. So, yeah, I, I get that uh, that vibe from it. Uh, and I think it's going to be an interesting experience uh, playing a new deck for a little while. Uh, especially one that's basically monocolor to a degree. I mean, it's going to be like primary black with a touch of red. Um, so going to be kind of crazy to uh, be back in those kind of style of decks again as opposed to the decks that we've been playing here lately in the last you know three or four uh, releases which was like multicolored Digimon with multicolored uh, option cards and stuff so it's going to be kind of cool to be on uh, on these decks that are fixing to be the top decks that feel kind of um, shall I say not monocolored but but feel close to monocolor. So it's going to be an interesting experience to see how that meta plays out once more. Um, <clears throat> all that aside, uh, we definitely want to see what's going on with the 
with the decks. I, I think um, Jessmon. I think it's going to be Jessmon and, and uh, Shoutmon, Ragnalordmon, and uh, probably two other decks that I, I just I can't recall. I had a list of them out. But I feel like that's those, those three plus the two others are going to be the top decks in this coming format with BT10. I feel like Gammon will make a big comeback. It'll be strong once uh, enough research has been put into it and really pumped up. And I feel like Jellymon might even be kind of a good thing. And Goromon might actually do pretty good uh, now that they're getting their memory setter tamer because all they had before was their promo of her and she didn't memory set. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think it's going to be an interesting experience with this coming meta uh, to see what that green style deck does. I, I was looking at it and I was thinking green blue or green red um, just because it's possible to work that. Maybe even yellow green uh, for her deck. But um, but yeah, I'm, I'm sure somebody will throw up something soon or maybe I'll be the first. I don't know. We'll figure it out. And uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting, uh, you know, to see what people do with uh, Angoromon and uh, and her it's it's going to be uh, I think it's going to be a great deck it's just it's just got to inch its way up there kind of like Gamma Mon did but this right here is the end of game 2 he didn't have anything to do so I want it here in game 3 it was pretty fun um it was very back and forth for a moment and then he just kind of eventually just took control of the game and uh, completely won uh, it was um it was an all around fun day uh, we had a great time. Our, our locals tournament was pretty decent. We had a good turnout, and um, probably not as much as we usually have, which would have been more fun. But it was okay. Everybody was wanting to go to a big barbecue that was uh, had been planned, so we kind of all understood. And uh, yeah, so they all went to that for the most part. And um, yeah, <laughs> so anyways, uh, right away, Han was a little bit dead, but it quickly started to recover. The sad thing is it just didn't recover fast enough, and eventually he just kind of outran uh, everything that I was doing, and he just kind of took the game. It happens, you know, especially with uh, with cards like uh, War Greymon being able to trash security and stand back up. Absolutely insane. Great power. He's got that Rise Greymon there with that Rise Greymon play to get extra tamers out for free, and um, that just allows him to just overpower his opponent and overwhelm. So I was like, all right, slam the Cordramon, take a couple of draw and see what I can get out of it. And in the end, it just it was not enough. I couldn't fix my hand fast enough. And he just you know plowed his way right through my health total and left me uh, dead. <laughs> so there's the there is a um, War Greymon, and it's gonna it's gonna crack into my health there. And uh, then he's like, all right, uh, we're just gonna hard drop another rise. And, uh, and see what you got. And I was just like, yeah, I don't think I have much of anything. To be fair with you, I'll, I'll try what I can, but I'm pretty sure you got me. He's like, yeah, swing, crack, blow up the health total. He's like, swing, crack again. And I was like, there we go, and that's game three.